What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 44 of Live Day Trading. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, Michael Silva here. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi hi. If you've been here before, make sure to smash that like button. In this series, I take you into my computer and I trade live on the Weeble desktop software. In today's episode, I traded ticker symbol WBA. That's Walgreens. And the pattern that I traded was a dead cat bounce. Let's go ahead and watch how this trade was executed. Let's hop into it right now. Good morning. Hello, hello. We are here in the computer. Day trading, ticker symbol WBA, Walgreens. What we had going on today is we had this massive gap down about 6%. And when there's a gap down, I like to typically follow that momentum to the downside. And I think when, when it basically opened up this morning down here, it came all the way back up and then got shot all the way back down. And what we're seeing right now is this little bit of a, I think it's just a dead cat bounce. And we're gonna see it curl back over might go a little bit higher, maybe not. I think we're gonna see it curl back over, hit the low of the day, and potentially break lower to the downside. So I will be scaling into this position. Right now I am short 250 shares at $40.52 right here. Uh, market overall is, you know, pretty obviously still volatile. I'm, uh, I'm feeling good about this trade. My stop loss will probably be just kind of above this candle wick, which is right over here, um, 4125, 4150-ish, that, that kind of range, you know. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's just see how this one plays out. I think that, like I said, I think this is just a dead cat bounce. And if it does come up here a little bit more, I might scale in a little bit more into the position. So on this big drop, it not only retested the lows, it did drop lower. Now it's retesting that uh, previous area. So it might bounce up all the way or it's just retesting and might push farther to the down or we might see it go sideways and then maybe break lower too as well. Um, I did get rid of more shares. So now I'm only short 40 shares, <clears throat> which I love being in this position because now once again, it's not how much, you know, can I make, it's how much will I make because I am in the green on this trade. I originally started off, like I said, 250 shares short up here. Came up on me a little bit, saw the breakdown. This was just a dead cat. Broke the broke the low of the day and we're seeing it move lower. So now as new candles form, I'm gonna just move my stop loss above each of those wicks until I get stopped out. So if this is the top of this candle, my stop loss will go from you know, basically where this orange line is, a little bit higher, um, to the to the high of this candle just above it. <clears throat> All right, so let's just see how this one plays out for me on the remaining 40 shares. All right, so that new candle form, the high of it was right here, so my new stop loss is I want to be right above, it says 39.98, so I'm going to just go 40.05, give it a little room to breathe. So 40.05 will be my stop loss right now. Okay, I got stopped out right there. <clears throat> it literally came up, should have probably gave it a little bit more room to breathe. That came up as a high of... 40.09, I was at 40.06 or 40.05 for my stop loss. So I'm out of the position. 
That was a $91 gain today on Walgreens. I felt pretty confident about that. So if there is another trading opportunity, I might take it. If not, that was not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. So, eh, you know what? I'm gonna call it a day. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. That was good. And on a high note, yeah. Okay. Bye. Have a good day.